Mm. Let me show you one other thing. This uh, Google announced this uh, comp last week, I think. Yeah. This is the uh, this is the Chromecast audio, and by the way, they mm. pointed out that it looks like a record. What oh, they yeah, neglected so to point cute. out is also looks like the Beats logo. But, I thought uh, it looked like the Beats but, uh, logo. But we <laughs> we won't mention that. Um, it is uh, like their Chromecast in that it is a Wi-Fi dongle that you hook up to your stereo or any powered speaker system, and then you can use your iPhone to cast to it. But there's a limited number of applications that will cast to it. Now, one of the things I found was pretty cool, and I'm going to do a full review of this for Before You Buy, is it comes with an analog cable. So, for instance, I have a powered speaker here. This is the Jawbone um, jam box. Mm -hmm. And it has a auxiliary Lock input. Most speaker room. systems do. Waiting for device to connect. And so if you plug this into the, like that, and you plug the other end into this, and then you use the Chromecast app on your device, or iPhone or your iPad or your Android device, to set this up, you can then cast audio into this little dongle. By the way, it needs power as well, so I have in my pocket a USB cable. So we'll just plug that in. Uh, okay, here. I have a question. The Jawbone is Bluetooth speaker, correct? Y okay, what you're about to say is why are you connecting this whole thing up when you could just do it via Bluetooth? That is what I'm about to say. I only brought this because it's small. Oh, okay, got it, it. Obviously, you could use Bluetooth. This is higher can, quality than Bluetooth. So okay. you can use any speaker. It doesn't have to. It has to be a powered speaker okay. with a uh, input of some kind. Got it. I set it up on my stereo at home because this is what was really interesting. This, of course, is anal looks like an analog port, so you can use the included cable, or you can go out and buy an RCA jack adapter cable. But you can also use an optical cable, and at home on my stereo, I'm doing that. That means the optical cable plugs into the same hole. It's, it's optical or analog, and then into the optical input on my stereo. That means this is going to not send analog audio. I'm not going to use the uh, converter in the Google device. I'm going to use the converter, much better converter, in my stereo system. So then you get high quality music. Now it's kind of limited for now. It does not, for instance, do YouTube. Remember we were talking about how you could play YouTube mm -hmm. music? That's been a little disappointing to people. It does Pandora, Google Play Music, RDO, NPR One, which is actually great. I love NPR One. You can put together NPR uh, shows mm -hmm. uh, in, in a stream. iHeartRadio, which of course carries my Tech Guy show. TuneIn Internet Radio, which carries uh, other radio shows, including my Tech Guy show. Um, and our shows too. And, and, and Spotify will also work with this, even though it doesn't have that on the label. Uh, but I don't know if it's Spotify on the iPhone. I know it works with Spotify on Android. Spotify allows you to cast to a device. It puts the button at the bottom. And I found it to be a little bit flaky as well. But so what you're looking for is uh, audio programs that support Chromecast audio. The good thing about this is it allows you to uh, in sense, essentially turn any speaker system into an internet speaker system. You control it from your phone or tablet, not from a remote control, or even from your, your, your uh, internet speaker system. You can control it from your mobile device. Um, and, and But you can turn off your mobile device once this, just like the Chromecast video, once this starts playing the music, it's doing the work. It's uh, getting the Wi-Fi. It supports 802.11 uh, up to AC version. It works very well. It was a very crisp, good, clear audio coming in, because Wi-Fi is fast enough to do high-res audio. Um, but it's a little limited in the number of applications it supports. Uh, 35 bucks. this is a great way to internet enable your stereo or your speakers. If you have powered speakers, your computer speakers, well, I guess they're already connected computer. You don't really need this. Uh, same thing with a Jawbone uh, jam box. You, I mean, you already got Bluetooth connection. You don't need But the Wi-Fi is better. The quality is better than Bluetooth. Um, and then uh, eventually, they say, with a firmware update, they're going to add uh, the Sonos-style party mode, which means... You can enable your stereos in multiple places, speakers in multiple places. If they're powered speakers, you just plug this into them. And uh, then you can all play the same thing throughout the house. And they say, and we'll have to see, we'll test it when it comes out because it's not available yet, they'll all be synchronized. And that's a hard thing to do. Only Sonos, to my knowledge, is the only one that's been able to do that where you don't get echoey and weird latencies going on. So this is a cool device. Uh, I think it's early days yet. You might not run out and get it, but if you have a speaker system and you want to play music from your iPad or your iPhone uh, from those apps, um, this is an interesting way to, uh, to do it. It's a lot less expensive than going out and buying a, a Sonos, which starts about 400 400 bucks. Yeah. Don't try to get it on Amazon, though, because they're not selling those, right? Yeah, right. They're not. They don't, Amazon, that's so weird, has decided not to sell Apple or Google 
devices like yeah. this. They say it's They're because not it doesn't work TV. with Prime. They, they, they say it doesn't work with their streaming, but I thought that that would be something they would make work, not the other companies. I don't know how they can get away with that. It seems like a monopoly type thing. They can do anything they want. They're a store. Not uh, You go to a store, you go to Safeway, they carry Chiquita bananas, mm -hmm. but they don't carry Sam's bananas. That's true. That's just their decision. Yeah. That's yeah. their store. So Amazon can right. carry stuff. I think it's a dumb decision because consumers will buy the Apple TV in droves, I right. think. It's a very, it looks like a really exciting product. Why would you intentionally not sell it? Yeah. Now, maybe Apple's blocking Amazon streaming from the Apple TV. I don't know. Um, but I'm sure that Amazon could make Chromecast enabled version of their app because Google doesn't have to approve that. And, it, and so you can't blame Google. So I'm wondering what, yeah. I think it's, it feels like Amazon just doesn't want to have these competitive products in their right. store.